Do you fear that your sister might be a narcissist? In this video, we will cover the seven ways by which you can tell. The last two are the most telling. Number one, constant need for attention. In the complex tapestry of sibling relationships, a narcissistic sister often stands out due to her unending thirst for attention. She can be likened to a magnetic force, drawing all conversations and interactions toward her. Every dialogue becomes an opportunity for her to showcase her accomplishments, stories, and experiences, leaving little room for others to share their own. Whether it's a casual chat or a momentous occasion, her need to be the center of attention becomes increasingly apparent. This constant desire for the spotlight is more than just an innocent yearning to be heard, it's a hallmark of narcissism. While healthy siblings take turns in the limelight, a narcissist sister thrives on hogging it. She needs the validation that comes from being the focus of admiration, and she'll go to great lengths to ensure that her presence is noticed and celebrated. The unfortunate consequence of this insatiable appetite for attention is that the real connections between siblings can be suffocated. Genuine conversations, where both parties share their thoughts and feelings, become a rarity. Instead, interactions with a narcissist sister feel more like monologues, where she dominates the narrative with stories that cast her in the best light. The space for authentic connection narrows as her need for attention expands, leaving you feeling unheard and unimportant. Recognizing this pattern is crucial for maintaining your emotional well-being. While it's natural for siblings to want attention, a constant and insatiable craving is a red flag. If your sister consistently leaves no room for your voice to be heard, it's time to evaluate the dynamics of your relationship and consider setting boundaries that protect your sense of self within this familial dynamic. Number 2. Lack of empathy. Empathy serves as the glue that holds sibling relationships together. Yet, when dealing with a narcissist sister, you might find that this crucial element is conspicuously absent. Empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others, is often elusive for her. Conversations become one-sided, with your emotions taking a back seat to her own. Attempting to confide in a narcissist sister about your struggles might result in indifference or dismissal. Your concerns could be met with a lack of understanding or even a sense of annoyance. While empathy fosters mutual support and understanding between siblings, a narcissist sister struggles to offer anything beyond superficial sympathy, if even that. This void of empathy leaves you feeling isolated and emotionally unvalidated. The very person who should provide solace during difficult times becomes emotionally distant, prioritizing her own feelings over yours. It's as though the bridge of empathy that should connect your hearts has crumbled, leaving a chasm between you. Recognizing this absence of empathy is essential for your emotional well-being. If your sister consistently fails to acknowledge and understand your feelings, it might be indicative of deeper narcissistic tendencies. By acknowledging this pattern, you can begin to set boundaries that protect your emotional space and seek support from those who offer the empathy you deserve. Number 3. Exploitation of relationships. What should be an authentic connection of shared memories and trust between siblings can become a calculated game of manipulation. A narcissist sister might exploit the emotional bonds you share to further her own agenda. She might use your relationship to gain favors, manipulate decisions, or even secure material benefits. This exploitation of your emotional connection is a painful betrayal of the trust that should naturally exist between siblings. What once was a source of comfort and camaraderie can turn into a source of resentment and confusion. You might find yourself in a situation where every interaction feels transactional, where gestures of affection come with strings attached, and where your emotional well-being is secondary to her desires. Recognizing this exploitation is crucial for your self-preservation. Identifying moments where your sister uses your relationship as leverage can empower you to assert boundaries that protect your emotional health. By acknowledging and confronting this exploitation, you can regain control over the narrative of your relationship. Seeking guidance from trusted individuals and professionals can help you navigate this complex dynamic and redefine your connection on terms that prioritize your well-being and emotional autonomy. Number 4. Gaslighting. A narcissist's sister can shatter trust through a manipulative technique known as gaslighting. 
Gaslighting involves distorting reality to make you doubt your perceptions, memories, and feelings. Your narcissist sister might twist events, downplay your emotions, or outright deny actions, leaving you questioning your own sanity. Gaslighting can leave you feeling disoriented and emotionally vulnerable. Your sister's ability to reshape reality makes it difficult to trust your own judgment. Gradually, you might find yourself second-guessing your own experiences and relying on her version of events. She might use gaslighting as a tool for control, ensuring that her perspective prevails and your emotions are invalidated. This manipulation not only distorts your sense of reality but also erodes your self-confidence and independence. Recognizing gaslighting is crucial for regaining your sense of self. If your sister consistently distorts reality to suit her agenda and undermines your perception of events, it's a sign of manipulation. By acknowledging this tactic, you can take steps to protect your mental well-being, seek support from trusted sources, and assert your own truth in the face of her attempts to rewrite history. Number 5. Materialistic Focus Sisterhood is often built upon shared memories, mutual support, and emotional understanding. Yet, in the shadow of narcissism, these foundations can crumble under the weight of a materialistic focus. A narcissist sister's priorities may revolve around the acquisition of possessions, status symbols, and outward appearances. In the presence of materialistic tendencies, meaningful conversations might be replaced by discussions centered on luxury items and comparisons based on possessions. What should be moments of emotional connection can become platforms for her to display her material wealth, overshadowing the bonds that once united you. This shift in focus can leave you feeling emotionally disconnected, as if your experiences and emotions hold no value in comparison to the grandeur of her possessions. Recognizing this materialistic fixation is essential for safeguarding your emotional well-being. If your sister consistently elevates material belongings over genuine connections, it's indicative of her skewed priorities. Acknowledging this behavior empowers you to set boundaries that uphold your sense of self-worth. By emphasizing the significance of emotional bonds over materialism, you can strive for a more balanced and fulfilling sibling relationship. Number 6. Short-lived relationships. In the intricate web of human connections, the bonds with siblings are meant to stand the test of time. However, a narcissist sister might exhibit a pattern of short-lived relationships that raises eyebrows. Her interactions with others might be fleeting, marked by a cycle of charm, manipulation, and eventual abandonment. Narcissist sisters often view relationships as tools for their own gain, using people to satisfy their needs and then discarding them when they no longer serve a purpose. This cycle can leave a trail of emotional wreckage in its wake, affecting not only those outside the family but potentially impacting your own connection with her. Witnessing a revolving door of relationships might serve as a wake-up call. It highlights her self-centered approach to connections, where she uses people as stepping stones rather than nurturing meaningful bonds. Recognizing this pattern enables you to see through the facade and protect yourself from being used in a similar way. By understanding the nature of her relationships, you can set boundaries that safeguard your own emotional well-being. While you can't control her behavior, you have the power to decide how you engage with her, ensuring that your bond remains rooted in authenticity and mutual respect. Number 7. Manipulative Tactics A narcissist sister can undermine the foundation of understanding and trust through a repertoire of manipulative tactics. These tactics are carefully crafted to control, deceive, and maintain her perceived superiority. From guilt-tripping to emotional blackmail, a narcissist sister employs a range of maneuvers to bend situations and people to her will. She might use flattery to gain favor or play the victim to garner sympathy. These tactics can leave you feeling like a pawn in a game, manipulated to fulfill her desires without consideration for your feelings or needs. Recognizing these manipulative tactics is pivotal for maintaining your emotional autonomy. By identifying moments when her actions are designed to control or deceive, you can begin to untangle yourself from her web of manipulation. Setting firm boundaries and seeking support from those who understand the dynamics can empower you to counteract her tactics and assert your own agency within the relationship. Remember, acknowledging her manipulative behavior doesn't make you responsible for changing her. 
Your power lies in your response and the choices you make to protect your emotional well-being. By dismantling the manipulative dynamic, you pave the way for a healthier, more balanced sibling relationship based on authenticity and respect. If you're struggling with narcissistic abuse, please see the link in the description to get some help. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more information on how to fight narcissistic abuse. We recommend the video on what happens to narcissists in their 40s next.